Good morning, Fenlanders. How are we doing? I'm Daniel Wilk from Fenland Farming Adventures. The Much Spreader boys did turn up yesterday afternoon and we managed to get a fair bit done, so they're on, the, on their way. <coughs> I hope. I did have a load of batteries here for my GoPro. Take the lead with me while I'm at it. It's fairly cold out here this morning, but it's like damp and daggy and horrible. The sun needs to come out. Now it's seven o'clock in the morning. We're getting on with it. Um, I got a load of bales to break up so the boys to start spreading. I've just done my checks on the uh, telehandler and I thought yesterday I haven't heard the fan going backwards and forwards because I've got a hydronic fan on these things. I've cleaned the radiator out and cleaned the air filter out and uh, yeah, it was pretty grubby. But yeah, somebody's turned the uh, fan off so hopefully it'll uh, clear itself out again. <coughs> there we go. All cleaned out, ready to, ready to rock and roll. I ordered myself a new uh, magnetic GoPro mount because uh, I broke the other one just as I was about to use it. So we'll get up to the field and we'll go and start breaking some bales up. I reckon in my job for this morning. Cheers guys. Yeah, fairly long drawn out process this is going to be. Um, Grumpy Granddad said he's going to come up here in a minute. I've still got a heap of muck over there and over yonder. We managed to get most of the spud field uh, spread. I've got a few heaps of muck over there as well. The plan was to break this up like that and then spread it in a line and then tip all the muck on it. But you know in farming, it never happens does it? So let me get some of this lot broken up. That's the best place for you lot, it's down there. Grumpster's now coming up here to help me out. So that shouldn't be too bad, but it's pain in the ass. Just uh, keep getting in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> I'm gonna run you over. He can't come soon enough. At least I can stay out here and just pull all the bits of string out while Grumpster uh, drives a telehander for me. Oh, we're nearly there. I mean, you'd be amazed how much that first half of that stack there is all uh, 2021, 2022 maybe? Maybe 2022. So it's two seasons old already. The top barrels on there, this is what they are. They are off the top of that stack there. The, the back half, where it's a gap in the middle, the back half is um, pretty good. They're obviously last year's, but they, I mean, they've had a shed load of rain on them. I've got some more over there. Oh man! <laughs> I forgot about them ones. Here comes Grumpster. Right, we'll rattle on now, guys. If you lot are happy watching me doing this, me and Grumpster are here, so, well, uh, I'll leave you filming for a little while longer, and then Anna gets here, hopefully she'll have a magnetic mount for the GoPro, so we'll crack on. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna smell lovely for the school run. Woohoo! Um, Daniel has got the other GoPro, so I've got my phone. Hopefully, you can 
hear me and see me okay but we're just out uh, in front of Lee Farm so yeah they're much spreading today I've got the lovely yeah. task of yeah, mate. going over and we got that about where you want to go to here Two wheels. That's about right, isn't it? Somewhere there. Sorry, guys. Yeah. You better get a stop for dinner in a second, don't you? <laughs> I'm listening to them talking. Yeah, we'll stop for a second. I'm going to go. Not there. I'm going to get stuck behind the muck. I don't want to get muck flung at me. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Sorry, guys. I'm getting a bit distracted here. Yeah, muck cart in a go go. I have the lovely task of just where the muck's been sat and then Daniel's been... And we're on channel nine. Did you tell him it's channel 9? I did say make sure you tell him but I don't know if you heard me. So Daniel, tell Kieran about what channels go on for the walkie talkies. I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. Yeah. So where the muck's been sat... I will, I will get my words out eventually. Where the muck's been sat, I am just literally going over because obviously where it's been sat and then they've just literally they've gone over with the JCB and then come around with the tractors it's a bit gross Ooh. I did a bit yesterday I didn't really film much because I, as you can probably still hear I'm still a bit like eh. so I didn't really feel too like amazing yesterday to do much filming I went over to Kidner's got quite a bit finished up there let's go down where on Monday I didn't manage to get all the way like along the field, I managed to go a bit further than what like Dad had said uh, on the Monday. So yeah, chuck with that. It is proper slush. Lovely. I just said to Daniel, I was like, I don't want to get out. I'll stink. He was like, just get on with it. I am going to have no friends on the school run after this, am I? Look at that. Ew. Gross. Hey, and that's she stinks. Oh well, occupational hazard I suppose. Yeah, yesterday was a good day. I actually feel very accomplished after yesterday. I feel like I kind of just had another little bit of time. The sat nav wasn't working, so I just had a bit of a play about with that, like trying to drive in a straight line, which is a lot harder than it looks, can I just say? And because I managed to go a little bit further than I did before, I kind of like pushed myself and I kind of thought, yeah, it's kind of trying to get sort of stuck a bit, but I managed to kind of play about with the top link and, you know, just when it was getting really, really bad, just put it out and, yeah, it seemed to go okay. So I'm proud of myself for kind of pushing it a bit, if you know what I mean. Normally I'd have gone, no, nah, I got to do it. quite daunting being on a field when there's three other professional farmers. And I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. Well I do the basics. I'm like the, I'm like I'm like the foundational level. Right, I'll see what my job is to do next guys. Okay, working hard. With his feet up. He tells you he works hard, but there's proof. Don't believe him. <laughs> Hello, Ben Landers! It's all going on today, isn't it? I've got Anna here wanting to know what to do. I've got the two lads here, Michael and Kieran, spreading for me from David Waters. Yeah, this is the trouble with much spreading. I know Anna's, uh, Anna's here, so that's kind of handy. She's going to put the drone up for you guys in a minute. Maybe you'll get a vast idea of how flat it is around here if you haven't already. So I'm now on to a load of straw which is going to take a it more longer for me to load it up than it is for them to spread it. I'm not going to get much uh, nutrition, nutritional factor for the soil with this straw, but I'm just going to get go through the motions and get it loaded up. And at least it's not sogging wet. It shouldn't take me long to load a, uh, a spreader up. Hopefully in the next half an hour or so, we'll be caught up with it. Give it, give it an hour or so and we should get most of this straw spread. I told the boys to try and do like where they're doing only an end of the field. I told him to try and get a, a, a round out of this straw to see how far it goes, you know, because the straw does hold the, the moisture and stuff in the in the soil. So 
Yeah, that's why people chop the straw in. Obviously, it takes nitrogen to break down the nitrogen to get the nitrogen, but. They got Anna over there on the 6215. She's probably not in as deep as I would like her to be, but um, she's just pulling the surface around, getting some dry up, you know. They're looking at me like I'm uh, a weirdo. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we're gonna subsoil this field anyway. The main thing she's gonna do with the muck bottoms now is just get them trying to dry out, you know, so um, the machine seems to be working well. Daniel's just told me to go and do a couple of ends, get my top link right. So I'm doing 11k and doing about 20 litres per hour. It's going from like 21 to 24. You gotta do it while you while you're going at 11k, just do it while you're doing 11k somewhere. Just take an end up the field or something until you got it right and then come back again. Don't really know what it looks like when it's right, but okay. I've shortened it a bit, so let me know. Well, you've got your litres per hour on the screen, haven't you? Yeah, just do an end in the field and get yourself set up properly first. So I go down this end here? It doesn't matter. Just get your, um, get your tractor so you're doing 11k and you concentrate on just pulling your top link in a little bit. Just get on with it, Anna, though. Stop faffing around. Is it me or is it women faff? But she's got the faff gene. She's the faffer. She's, uh, me and Rachel have not got the faff gene and uh, Anna's the tidy faffer and uh, I'm the untidy get on with stuff. Come back over here, Anna. Just lift up and come straight back over here. It's hard to know, isn't it? Because yesterday I was messing around with the top link, but it was doing quite a lot of literage per hour. But it's because it was working so hard, but I think I had it about right, and I was sort of playing about with it. So I'm 21, 24, 21. Daniel's like, come over here, come over here. It's done about 20. Okay, thank you for the Don't use that, easy. I have been using that. No, you ain't got that. I know, so that's I'm turning right. around, yeah. That's it. You're on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, well, you've got to look at your machine and when you get out there, it's not really hardly in the ground, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm just still getting used to it now, aren't I? Right, am I going back over there then? Uh, the kitchen and all these hard bits, maybe do this a bit again. Right, here we go then, B. So, um, it's funny, I'm, I'm getting a bit, like, a bit more confident on this, but Daniel just gets on and he's just like, Literally like nothing. Like walking to him, innit? He'll be like that to me soon. Right, here we go. Beep, 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 beep. So yeah, we're playing with straw. Let me do, Basil. I'll, uh, I'll keep moving you guys around so you can see what I'm up to and how much, how much fun I'm having. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long to get this done, you know? I hope. Oh, there's one bit of string in there. He won't be happy to have my pants down. It looks like I'm only going to get four muck grab fulls of straw in the bloody spreaders. So probably maybe a, a Heston or so if, if we're lucky. Two Hestons or so in, in each spreader maybe. At least I can get a big load in the, in the muck grab which is great. Loving it. I am going to shut the door again in a minute. It's bloody cold. That'll do him. Off he goes. See how much straw comes out. Hopefully Kieran's getting on okay. I can have a tidy up. It gives me a minute actually to chill out for a minute. Where before, when I'm loading the muck, because it's so rotted down, I have to do so many loads of um, shunting backwards and forwards to try and get it right. I can just keep mixing it around while they're gone. I can just keep rounding it up and uh, mixing it around and stuff and uh, trying to get any lumps of straw and things like that out of it. So you wouldn't think straw would be that bloody dense, would you? But it is. Oh, no, not having it. Yeah, I'm on. No, still not having it. Them boys are going to cover some ground uh, over there with the straw. Obviously, they're six metres each time, so around is 12 metres, so two of them, that's 24 metres. So, I asked you guys in the last video, is anyone going to cereals? We're obviously pro probably going to go. Let me know if you're going to make it. If lots of you are going to go, we might go and make an appearance. Come say hi. 
can't tell a right wonky head in there. It's not like there's three professional farmers watching me or anything. Oh, never mind. It's all good. It's all good. Lots of kit on, uh, on sale at home. Um, Ireland's farm machinery today, guys. So I thought I might as well just sit here and uh, while we're doing while we're doing the tour and stuff, you know, I might as well sit here and uh, watch it. I fancy another trailer, so. Three thousand four hundred pounds. Uh, Oliver Godfrey doing a great job. That is amazing how quickly a good auctioneer can get through lots, isn't it? If you listen to him, he is talking so quickly. I mean, you lot saw me in the live the other day. I was uh, talking for an hour and I was worn out. So, uh, yeah, I noticed a couple of other YouTubers there as well. So, see him wandering around in the crowd there, obviously. Trying to get on the Fenland farm, Fenland farm sales thing as well. So, feel like such a trend set up. So I'm just going down this bit here, but they haven't actually, I think they've done a bit of mark here, but not sure. So I'm just, Daniel said to get started the other side of the, over there. You can see where they're literally going right now. So I thought if I just go down here, because apparently you shouldn't travel with the cultivator not in the ground. You should always have it in the ground if you're traveling, which makes sense. My analogy is, if, I, if I'm hoovering the house, right, and I've got to go from one room to the other, I'm going to hoover that room while I'm travelling over there. So that is my analogy. That is my little quirky thing that I think about. Like, well, I wouldn't hoover, not hoover the room. I would just pick it up and carry it. So that's my thinking. Sorry, guys, if that's a bit random. I still feel quite sinusy. I'm like, it's like that, that bit here. Like, um... I finally gave in yesterday. I've been suffering with it for about two or three weeks now. And I've, I thought, why am I doing this? Why am I putting up with it? So, went to the doctors, of course. I did the little thing on, online. and got that sorted. So I was like, why am I putting up with being poorly? I'm trying to like, soldier through it. I'm not gonna get a medal for not going and getting antibiotics, so. Me and Grammy Granddad were going to go up there because we fancy another couple of trailers maybe, I don't know. We've got a load of trailers going in the uh, auction with uh, Brown & Co in a few weeks' time. And um, we can put two, two, three trailers in. The... Let me turn that off for a minute so I can talk to you. Yeah, it's just, um, I mean, I promised myself I was going to get rid of my muck trailer anyway. Uh, my little green Bailey, uh, and just uh, upgrade, you know, and I did, and I upgraded to the to that big Larrington, and now that big Larrington is so useful, you know, I might upgrade to another one. So I sell sell two or three trailers, and, and just put it towards either two or or one even, you know. I don't really need seven trailers floating around the farm, so we're just trying to downsize a little bit and uh, move our stuff forward a bit. So. Yeah, just keep an eye on what the trailers make. I mean, they're all 2020 and 21s and 22 plates and stuff. So for me, that's too new. You know, I just want something with air brakes and commercial axles, really, for safety reasons, obviously. I mean, I put new brakes on that green Bailey. It's just had all new brakes on last winter and it slows you down. It does slow you down. It's just they wear out a bit quicker, you know what I mean? Dad can't ever remember putting new brake shoes on it, so. If, it, if it's never had any brake shoes on it, it's done quite well, really, because it's 1984. It's better condition than me. A bit rusty around the edges. Yeah. My brake shoes have nearly had it. Look at my elbow. <laughs> One last little load of straw to get rid of then. The boys are doing a sterling job and we'll get moved down, grab the bucket, we'll move down into the field. I'll try not to dig too much dirt out this time. I was, um, I was digging for Britain with a bucket. You almost want a real narrow bucket or a real wide bucket so you can see. I couldn't see the floor very well with these. With the John Deere, as soon as you start digging, it goes, whoa, hang on a minute. Yeah, but this has got so much grunt that it doesn't. So.
really nice. Um, it's really nice to be out on the tractor and not be by myself, which sounds weird because I'm kind of by myself, but I'm not in the field by myself. I can actually see people, which is really <laughs> flinging poo, flinging poo. Oh my god, I'm gonna have no friends on the school run. Just like draw some stink lines around me. Do you know what I mean? It's like a couple of flies. And I'll just be sat in the corner like, I'm here to collect my kids. They might want to keep their distance from me. Well, that's that field done then, pet landers. We're off to the next one. 85, 85, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. I'd have thought that was enough money. Yeah, it was all going swimmingly, so now Kieran's managed to get himself set. We're going to see if we can pull him out. Hey, is this the first stuck on? Uh, is this the first stuck on uh, on our YouTube channel? I think it might well be. Poor old Kieran. But we have been we have been pushing it. We have been risking it. Um, Michael's obviously got 300 good blue horsepower on the front of his uh, thing. So I mean, Grumpy Granddad's struggling a little bit with traction. <laughs> He's struggling with. Traction a little bit. Where are you going, Grumpster? It's so wet on it, it's unbelievable. Well done, Kieran, take a bow. <laughs> We've been uh, pushing our luck all day, haven't we? Been pushing our luck all afternoon. So you can see that. <laughs> Will he come out? Will he come out? <laughs> hang on, hang on. So he's just gone through the wettest bit of the field. Didn't even bat an eyelid, look, that was so anti-dramatic. <laughs> Come on, girl. There we go, we're out. You're out. I told him to take a bow. Should have done a live, really, shouldn't I? Oh well, I said there was that. And he climaxed that was, wasn't he? He just pulled it out. I gotta walk back over there now. But yeah, look there. We're we're trying. I mean the other field was dry as a bone and uh Grammy Grandad's gonna struggle to get through this, you know. It's I mean they've been pushing their luck a lot. Been pushing our luck a lot all afternoon really, because they're flooded over there. Look, you can see the seagulls over there, so they're all flapping around with two fingers up. Isn't it weird? The other field's dry as a bone. This one's like a bloody waterlogged marsh. So we do what we do. There, he's out of that hole now, so. Right, back to it. My telehandler needs uh, diesel filters on it as well, because that's, she's getting a bit sluggish, so. Right, Fernandez, we'll carry on. See you in the afternoon. This is possibly some of the most stinkiest, disgusting stuff I've ever had to deal with. Look at that, look. like a blancmange of chicken litter, chicken turds. Burp, 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 burp. And then we got the cattle muck. Uh, is that cattle muck? Pig muck, it's probably pig muck. So I can't obviously use my um, muck grab for this stuff, as you can see, look at that, look. And it actually smells like that as well, so. I've got it all over my boots now. Nothing beats a bit of chicken litter all over your fingers when you're trying to have a sandwich, does it? So who bought anything from the uh, Ireland's Farm Machinery sale the other day? It is today, but due to the way the uh, Fenland Farming Adventures admin team is funded. It was a few days ago. 
But yeah, the boys are getting stuck over here. Sorry to win the day, but the boys have been uh, scrabbling about over here. He's he's getting through because he's got 300 horsepower up front. But you can see squirming around, and Kieran's probably not got as much horsepower, so he's struggling. I will sign out here now, guys. Um, I'm going to carry on filming tomorrow. I hopefully might just about have enough time to uh, come back up here with the Delta and Anna's going to go home. She's got all the muck pulled in on the other spud field, so that field's virtually done now. Um, just a subsoil or something in front of the uh, Basilea, and that is pretty much done. Um, nice weather like this, it's fairly warm. Should green up. Green up again, and I'll perhaps I might even hit it with a six metre Verna stat and then uh, put the power hour over it and smash it all up. And just want to. I mean, it sounds like I'm doing a lot, and I'd say, well, why didn't you plough it? You know, all you had to do was plough it once. And um, that's fair enough. I want to keep moving it around to get the black grass chitting and germinating. Once I've done that, it seems to do a good job, you know. You let the flush come through and then move it around again. Hence the reason why I'm thinking of like a six and a half metre set of carriers, Verdestat carrier. So, we'll see. Yeah, black grass is a pain in the ass. But, yeah, I'm not going to plough anything, so my plough is for sale, if anybody needs a 6 furrow plough, there's one here. Enjoy today's video guys, please subscribe, yeah, do us, it does us a world of favours, um, it just keeps pushing our little channel forward, and uh, yeah, if you like it, leave us a comment, say hello, I like talking to you lot, so, lucky for you, or unlucky for you, I don't know which one it is, oh, I've got to try and get that in the spreader. After you've been on this uh, JCB all day, you start doing stupid things. You end up with a load of chicken muck or pig muck or whatever all down the front of the loader. You miss the, miss the socking great big muck spreader, you know? So, right. Cheers, Fanlanders. We'll uh, see you on tomorrow's video. Can't tell you what I'm up to. Uh, it's not a secret. I just ain't got a clue what I'm doing. That's as simple as that. We'll figure it out, I'm sure, at some point. Uh, Anna's like, you need to be consistent. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Until I wake up and look out the window and see what the weather's been doing. I ain't got a clue. Yeah. Cheers, guys.